let us first tell something about the business problem we try to address. In a large company many IoT initiatives are popping up in the organization. A solid architecture is needed to bundle those initiatives together in one common layer. So that separation of concerns is achieved between app developers and IoT system engineers. This architecture will act as a middleware on top of the IoT devices in the company. So that the existing IT landscape is extended with IoT capabilities in a scalable manner. To give proof of the capabilities of TQL for solving this business problem we took the use case of automatic measuring the fill rate of a cucumber. The fill rate is an indicator for the growth speed of a cucumber. In this project a system is developed for measuring the growth of a cucumber in a systematic way during the growth period. Apart from the surface of the cucumber other internal and external conditions are monitored. This can be done at different locations at the same time and monitoring can take place in a central dashboard. Let us have a look at the deployment architecture. The deployment architecture supports a variable number of greenhouses. Each greenhouse is provided with a room monitoring engine. The following room conditions are monitored. Temperature, humidity and lux. There is a variable number of cucumber plants per greenhouse for which the fill rate of a cucumber is monitored by frequently measuring the surface of the fruit. Another engine is running in the cloud for central access and aggregation. Data from local engines is posted to the cloud engine. In addition data is retrieved from external APIs to get the outside weather conditions. All this data is aggregated and showed in meaningful graphs in a dashboard. Escalations are posted to a human workflow in Collabor. This gives a high-level overview of the deployment architecture. This scalable architecture makes it easy to add additional engines to the network. This architecture also provides various options to control devices. Local machine-to-machine -machine interactions are handled on the local engines itself. An example is implemented where a greenhouse window is controlled based on the values of the local ambient sensor. Global machine-to-machine -machine interactions are also possible. To give proof of this, logic is developed to control a greenhouse window based on external weather data derived from a cloud weather service. Finally, the possibility of human-to-machine interaction is showcased by bringing in functionality to overrule the automatic settings and control a particular greenhouse windows manually from the cloud. Now let us have a more detailed look at the configurations of the engines on the various levels. Configuration 1. Room Monitoring For the room monitoring a Raspberry Pi with an Arduino connected to it has been used. On the Pi TQL engine is running to create a connection to the cloud. Temperature lux and humidity sensors are attached to the Arduino. Configuration 2. Cucumber Monitoring For the room monitoring a Raspberry Pi with a Pi camera connected to it has been used. On the Pi TQL engine is running to create the connection to the cloud. A Python script is being called from TQL Engine to analyze the taken picture. Configuration 3. Cloud Aggregation To run TQL Engine in the cloud, we used a virtual machine running on the Google Cloud Platform. This machine is accessible via iot.vannenbergsoftware.com slash fit-dashboard. In the dashboard you can select which zone you want to display. The main dashboard is separated in three parts. The first part shows the current values. The cucumber surface, temperature, humidity and ambience. You can also select how the state of the window in the greenhouse is controlled.
The second part shows the external environment information, with a time panel, and temperature humidity and weather status panel. The third part shows the average values of the previous day. There is also a reports page. Here you can see all the historical data from the selected zone. As you can see, all the data from the current values in the main dashboard is visible in historical graphs. The power of extending the IoT capabilities with human workflow is showed by building an integration with Vandenberg's social collaboration platform, named Collabor. Hourly greenhouse reports are pushed to the greenhouse manager in Collabor. The breeder receives daily reports on the cucumber growth. The Collabor workflow creates a user task if there are any exceptions in these parameters. Collabor users can collaborate on the recorded data and share their views together. The cucumber and greenhouse data can be represented in a graphical way with the out-of-the-box Collabor charts to give proper insights to the stakeholders. This diagram shows the technical architecture in more detail. As presented earlier the architecture exists out of three different main components for cucumber monitoring, brim monitoring and cloud aggregation. On each of those components the Atomi Tun stack is installed. Various functions of the Atomi Tun stack are used to communicate with things and abstract the behavior of the things to a level that makes it easy to interact with things and data. The diagram shows the main functions and how they work together in the architecture. Finally, let us share our conclusions and learning points. This project gives proof of the capabilities of the Atomi Tun stack to develop a scalable IoT infrastructure. With the Atomi Tun stack it is possible to manage a variety of sensors and actuators in an organization and make them accessible via a common abstraction layer. With the Atomi Tun stack it is possible to configure, control and maintain the devices from the cloud. Making design time changes on the Pi is not ideal. It is better to develop on cloud or local system and use the pod only for the runtime engine. We enjoyed working on this project and learned a lot.